Hello, and welcome to 5-Minute Math. Today we are looking at the 7th grade concept of equations, specifically the slope-intercept form and how we can find it on graphs, and we will do it in 5 minutes or less. So the dreaded slope-intercept form that we learn so much about in 7th grade, y equals mx plus b. Now this is just one form of a linear equation, but it's very popular because it has several things that we need to make sure we understand. First, y is by itself. It's always nice to have one variable off on one side of the equal sign and everything else crowded on the other side because it makes things a little bit cleaner. So y is always by itself. X is a variable, so that's something that we're looking for. And these two numbers right here, m and b, these are just numbers. So they represent different things, but they are just numbers. So m is our slope. And so that is the slope, and we're going to see it on our graph right here, which equals the change in y. It's just a ratio. So how much does y change over how much does x change? So sometimes it's going to be a fraction. Sometimes it'll end up being a whole number because it, it divides evenly. But that is going to be our slope. So we multiply our slope by our x, and then b right here is our y-intercept, which that's a fancy name, but really just that means where does this slope cross the y-axis? And it's easy to kind of think of that because if we were to say y equals m and then substitute 0 in there, well, we know that our x-coordinate is going to be 0. Well, that's just going to make anything times 0, 0. So that's where we get this b becomes our y-intercept when x equals 0. So that's why it's called our y-intercept or it crosses the y-axis at x equals 0. That's really what that's called, at x equals 0, because we're putting a 0 in there, and that makes that m 0. So how can we figure this out from just a graph? Now that we know what all the terms are, well, I always like to start with the y-intercept. So there's our y equals something plus or minus. Let's check this y-intercept right here. So we are crossing the y-axis right there. And you see this graph has got one, two, three, four. All right, so that's a positive four. So we know that it is going to be a plus four. So we already know that. Now we just need to figure out what our slope is. So remember, our slope is change in y over change in x. So we can, let's go ahead and start with, we've got this right here. We've got that four. So Let's call that 0, 4. Let's find another spot where it's going to line up perfectly, because some of these don't necessarily line up with a an x-coordinate perfectly, but that one does. So this is going to be a y is going to be 1, and so is our x. So it looks like it's getting smaller, right? Our slope is going down. And so what is our change in y? Well, this went from 4 to 1. And so we are going to say it was 4 minus 1. And then our change in x, right, is going to be from, it went from 0 to 1. And so we've got 3 over negative 1. And so that is going to be our negative 3. So there's our negative 3x. So when you see a negative slope, you know it's going down. The greater this m, the steeper the slope, right? So if it's like a negative 1, it's going to be a little bit flatter like this. If it was a negative 10, it would be almost vertical like this. And the plus 4 simply gives us the y-intercept. That means this equation, when graphed, crosses the y-axis, which means x equals 0. That's the y-intercept at positive 4. And all that together makes our slope-intercept form of linear equations. Now, if we were to take this equation and just subtract 4 from both sides to get that 4 over on the left, it is still going to end up looking the same, but it's not the slope-intercept form of the equation because that always requires y to be by itself.